Yo, what's good YouTube? Today's video, we're gonna be changing the, the marker lights. I mean, I think they're called the uh, identification lights, the the five, one, two, three, the five that sit on top of your cab. So um, my step deck for the reefer is aluminum. So it was just really windy the other day and it was bouncing up and down and it actually ended up breaking off before I could go ahead and get it removed. Um, but it cracked some of those marker lights slash identification lights, whatever you want to call them. So I think one of them was burnt out and two of them, one of them's cracked and one of them's completely missing. So um, I went to the dealership and I bought three new ones. Um, the other two on the driver's side are good. So that's what they look like, two bolts. Um, I believe we'll have to remove them from the inside of the cab. So uh, we're gonna go drive over to the truck and I'll show you guys how to replace them. And it uh, should be fairly quick, maybe 20 minutes. So um, yeah, let's go over to the truck. Might be hard to see, but that one right there is broken. That one's cracked. That bulb is out and then those two are good. So I'll give you another view from up top in a second here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just start up the truck. It's freezing out, so I parked it yesterday. So we'll wait for the, the heater to turn off there. It's gonna take a second, warm things up. We'll go ahead and start it, idle it, get it warm in here. And all right, truck started, we got it idling. So I don't know if the lighting's good or not. But basically, there's the panel up here uh, and the panel over there. We're gonna have to figure out how to pop this out and then you can get the ID light here. Uh, well, I think these are some uh, star bits or torques, whatever you wanna call them. So uh, yeah, we'll get these bolts removed, we'll pop these panels out and then uh, we'll go ahead and I think it's two bolts. We'll go ahead and get those removed and then go on top, pop them off. So it should be fairly easy, maybe 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and start and figure out how to get this side off. Let's see if this will focus. Okay, I got this out. Um, maybe, I don't know, there's some tabs inside here. Um, it's hard to you know, point out, but these three tabs, uh, you might have to pop those, but this pretty much slid out. So once that slid out, you can see the ID light right here. We'll get it unplugged and there's two probably like eight to ten mils and then as you can see this one is cracked we'll go ahead and pop that out and the other two right here are good the far one's burnt out and the last one's completely broken so we'll go ahead and get that guy unbolted That back hole over here, right there, super hard to get to. Um, so I got it off. Um, I'll have to go ahead and push this back up or something. But uh, yeah, I had to pry it. It looks like from the thing that broke off, it looks like it was hitting this, so it kind of pushed in the roof a little bit. So uh, it might not seal perfectly. So I might, after I'm done, go pick up some sealant, just you know throw it on there but yeah otherwise this is off first one off broken one off and we'll go ahead and grab the new one there's the new one we'll go ahead and before we bolt it in make sure uh, you know the connection is good go ahead and get it connected Got it connected. So come down here, get the lights. Okay, cool, it turns on. So we're good on this one. We'll go ahead and bolt it back up and then we'll get to uh, the middle one. As you can see, that one doesn't work. All right, cool. First one is done. Go ahead and turn the lights back on. Still works. So if you have big hands, guys, you're screwed because like it sucks getting up in there. So that's that done. So let's go ahead and pop this guy back in. Just wiggle that in there like that. Boom. All right, cool. 
one done and two more to go. Alright, so for the middle uh, light, there's going to be a bolt here, bolt here, 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 and up here. I might have to remove the uh, uh, box for the reefer uh, for the temp control, so I'm just going to buzz these off uh, with the gun here. It's a T25 for the uh, bolt. So once I get that done, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so my Matco socket won't fit up there. Um, as you can see, it's too big. Um, I do have another uh, T25 from Matco that's skinnier. So now I'm going to have to drive all the way home and get that and then we'll be back to replace that middle clearance ID light, whatever you want to call it. And don't mind my hair, it's crazy, it was a wild week so I'll see you guys in a couple minutes with the new socket. Alright so I just got back from the house, here's the new sockets compared to that one. It may look the same in size but um, this one is way bigger. So we're going to grab whichever one is T25 and we're going to go ahead and get the rest of these bolts out. Alright, well, back to the house to get even smaller torques. I think I got a couple in the screwdrivers. Um, this one does not fit either, so back to the house. Alright, so I didn't end up having a T25 in a screwdriver, but I had a T20. Or, oh wait, this is a T15. T20? Oh, so, well... I guess these, let me see here, I'll show you. These smaller bolts are a T15. And the, you can see the size difference. Uh, so, yeah, the top bolts are the T25. So those top bolts, T25, and all the bottom bolts are T15. So I got extremely lucky. And the camera has to focus because, uh, I don't have a T25 in the screwdriver, just a T15 and a T20. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove the T25 screw here and the last T15 screw and then pull this uh, unit off. We might have to remove these two 8 mil bolts uh, that holds the uh, head unit for the reefer. So uh, once I do that, we'll be our best. Okay, so I'm gonna get uh, try and work with this just hanging here because there's everything's connected back here on both sides. So then we're going to remove these T25s, pull that plate off, and then I should just be able to get up into that middle one through the side. So let's hope I don't have to remove everything and make this super easy. Alright, so my camera is not focusing, but I kind of just slid this plate back into there. Uh, so everything's still um, connected. Let's see if this will get to focus. There we go. So as you can see right in there, easy access to this middle one. We will go ahead and unclip it. Once this, uh, we'll go ahead and unclip it and then take those two 8 mils out and then there's the other one, the other one's over there. So once that's done, this is the easy one, we'll go ahead and replace the other broken one on the right side. Alrighty, so I went ahead and, let's get this thing to focus, went ahead and put all the bolts back. Uh, I went ahead and turned on the reefer as well. I don't know why this is so hard to focus, but um, everything's back together. Um, I went ahead and turned on the reefer just to make sure I didn't knock any wires loose. So, hop outside really quick. Turn on the lights. Okay, cool. All, all four are working. So, now we just got to go ahead and I'm going to turn off the reefer here in a couple minutes. It's really cold out, so I'm letting it warm up. We're going to go ahead and finish the last one. And then, see you guys in a second. All right, another quick tip, if that sticky uh, gray stuff, which is like some dampening for the back of this comes out, uh, just know that it, uh, oh, my camera's horrible, but just know that it goes uh, on the back of it. It just sticks to the back wall and it goes up against there. Cause uh, I had this side come out, I figured it out. So I put that side back in, but I just want to see on this side for reference. So uh, just FYI, so. I'm gonna do the last one here and it should only take me a couple minutes and we should be done. Alright. All of them are working. Um, as you can see, this uh, what caused these to break was I had a step deck here for the reefer. Uh, it snapped off. It was high winds, it was blowing up and down, it snapped down, brought it off. Um, so it pushed these in a little. So next I'm gonna go to the store and grab some uh, sealant 
Not sure which one yet, but as you can see, all of them are working, and we're gonna just seal this one and the outside one that have a little bit of a gap. So, um, and we just need to throw this back in. It's as simple as just popping it back in. Like that, boom. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna run to the store. Uh, I'll show you guys when I'm done sealing it. Um, overall, I would rate this like uh, maybe a four out of 10. So, you know, if you don't have any mechanical experience, I'd probably just bring it into the shop. Um, for three of those, they were like 30 some dollars each. So I spent 120 bucks with tax. Um, they probably would have charged me an hour or two, uh, depending on how many you need to replace. So that saved me maybe 180 to 250 bucks. Uh, plus, they probably would have taken two days to do it at any dealership near me in uh, Chicago. So, I'm going to go get sealant. That's how you replace it. Um, everything's working. I turned off the reefer. All the wires are still good. And, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and then I'll get back to you once I seal that up. All right, so I just ended up buying some Dynaflex. Uh, waterproof. It's good on metal. I bought some, uh, some gloves, some... Uh, whatever you want to call it, some microfibers. I bought some uh, cleaning supplies and then I just went up here on both sides. There's a bare metal spot too. I mean, it's not the prettiest, but it gets the job done. So, and then I've got a spot here that had open metal from the step deck hitting, denting it. This was dented in, I popped it out too when I put in the new light. So, go check out the other side and turn on the lights. See, all five of them are working and I sealed a spot there. And this one's all sealed too. Um, when that thing was bouncing up and down, hitting these, it kind of dented, so that seal's gonna help keep water out. So, yeah. We are all done here. All right, cool guys, so I'm gonna take a thumbnail picture really quick and then um, everything is done and back to working. Actually, you know what? It's locked it, so. Turn on the lights. Get a nice overview. Looks good that all of them are working now, I'm happy. So, yeah, until next time, hopefully this guy, or hopefully this helps you uh, figure out how to replace your, I think, ID lights, clearance light, marker lights, whatever you want to call them. So, uh, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.